just the accuracy of the uh, placement is the main reason for the exact system. Yeah, we definitely probably double our acres easily what we used to do in a day. I guess with the rates we're hitting, we're virtually saving about 30%. The Xactric system allows us to apply our ammonia more precisely. It's kind of burned in where you don't have to run real deep, but yet you can inject it down into the soil where it stays put. Without really changing much of nothing, I can change my rates and jump from field to field. I really like the Xactric part because uh, of the even application. to put on more anhydrous when, uh, with the old system due to the inaccuracy and the unevenness of it. Now I think if the field calls for exactly 120, that's what we put on. We don't overshoot like we used to. The uniformity, we've tested it twice now, and virtually we're usually within one or two percent. Force port accuracy is the, you know, the main, the main reason for going with this system. That, this allows us to, to uh, combine two passes into one and cut our application rate at the same time. It does a good job of metering it exactly and putting the same amount down each row so there's no variation from row to row. We can mix nutrients as needed with very boring technology and we can uh, uh, do our anhydrous variable rate technology so we can get just the right amount of nutrients on everywhere across the field. I think all in all it's a premier system for using anhydrous ammonia. We cut our inputs by about 25 percent. There was virtually no difference in the yield so we're comfortable with the rates that we're using this year and we want to experiment with even lower rates to see just what the optimum rates are. What we're doing here today is top dressing winter wheat. This is a soft white wheat crop that was uh, drilled about the 10th of October following potatoes. It was conventionally drilled. Our traditional program on uh, a winter wheat crop like this would be to top dress with either liquid or dry fertilizer in the spring. And what uh, the Xactric system enables us to do is to now top dress with uh, ammonia, anhydrous ammonia, and uh, we're also putting down 1034 and uh, thiosol blend. Using the Xactric system, we're able to go over a established crop like this, and we're quite pleased with the minimal crop damage that we seem to be getting. We've done enough of it the last two years. This year we made the commitment to the decision to just go ahead and do all of our fall wheat. So we're uh, going to be treating about 13 or 1400 acres of irrigated winter wheat this way. We're uh, applying right now about 90 units of nitrogen as anhydrous ammonia. And on this uh, potato ground, we're using relatively small rates of phosphate and sulfur because of the amount that was applied last year. When we uh, go on wheat to wheat ground, then we up the rates of the polyphosphate and the sulfur. What we've done is place the openers at uh, 15 inch spacing, and we've moved the closing wheels in close so that it crushes the corner uh, next to the slot that the disc makes, crushes into and gives us a good seal on the soil so that the anhydrous ammonia doesn't escape. And uh, we're quite pleased with the amount of how little crop damage actually occurs. The main thing that is driving our decisions to move in this direction is the cost of the inputs. So everyone knows the input costs have doubled or so in the last couple years and so with the combination of being able to use a cheaper form of nitrogen principally with the anhydrous ammonia 
and also being able to use less total units because of the efficiency of the system, we're able to get significant savings. Guy Swanson calling in, your Great Plains reporter, and we're west of the Continental Divide today. We're uh, with uh, Clyde Cook, and we're inspecting some of his great hard red winter and soft white winter wheat. Uh, Clyde has done an excellent job. Um, one thing I want to point out, this particular field, uh, or the fields we're looking at in the pictures here, were side-dressed in the spring uh, using his, uh, his Xactrix equipped uh, yielder drill in combination with the 1895, and it is impressive. The uh, job is has been well done, and uh, you'll notice how even the wheat is and how even it stands. Where typical uh, irrigated winter wheat production systems, uh, the wheat is tipped over, lodged because of the irregular application of 32 through the center pivots. Uh, so uniformity once again is showing quite well and we're hoping for top yields this year maybe reduce the end by at least in half hopefully that'll be the goal we'll see you again uh, in august as we begin to harvest the crop here we are harvesting the crop that we top dressed last spring with the exactric system we've been pleased with the results we've already harvested the hard red winter wheat crop that was also top dressed with the same system it uh, yielded quite well. We were quite pleased with the yield. With the inputs that we put in, we feel like we were very efficient with only 120 to 30 units of nitrogen applied. The uh, reality is that with the inputs, we got almost a, a bushel of wheat per unit of N applied, which we've not been able to do that before. There's no question that what we got uh, more bang for the fertilizer dollar using the Xactric system than any other system we've ever used.